There's your instant pot. Look at that. <laughs> Fill in the box. And there it is. What a nice one you got, Kim. It has a nice display screen. It's the one that I used, honestly, when I made my cookbook, when I did all the photography and all the pictures in my book. I use that model for like about 90%. Turn the pot around so we can see it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Now you see the little nozzle on the top there? It's gonna have this one position that says venting and one that says ceiling. What we're gonna always want when you put the lid on before you pressure cook to have it in the ceiling position because we want the seam to be sealed in. When it's done, you'll use your finger to do that and you'll be careful when you do that because um, the steam will come out. That's why that little spoon comes in a little handy because the hole, if you don't want to touch it, you can put that, um, the spoon, the hole around the little nozzle and then just do it like that from afar. So we're in step one of the recipe and Kim added in one box or one pound of pasta. And we want to just make sure that our pasta is nice and smooth um, and nice and like submerged in the liquid as best as possible. And that's all you got to do. Those are the first three steps. Perfect, Kim, smooth that out. And now she's going to secure the lid on top. Going to put it a little off filter, and then you're getting it, get, getting close to it. Oh man! Okay. Okay. There you go. And now, now that's perfect. That's securing the lid. Make sure the little nozzle's in the ceiling position. Perfect. And now go down to the control panel of the pot. Let us see that. Okay. Tilt up. Now hit the button that says pressure cook. There you go. Got it. And adjust the time using the minus and plus button to six yeah. minutes. Okay, six minutes at high pressure, which it's already at, and that's it. That's all you got to do. After a few moments of not touching anything, it's going to start to beep and it's going to stay on. Oh. You see that? Now just leave it, do its thing. Okay. It's start to build pressure. Okay. And then and at, once it builds its pressure, right now it's starting to heat up in there. Once it builds pressure, that little hole next to the nozzle is gonna have a little silver pin that's gonna pop up and become flush with the lid. That means all the steam made that get pushed up, okay? From there, the screen's gonna then begin to count down from the six minutes you set it for, uh, okay? It beeped. Wait, is the lid, is the pin didn't pop up though? Not that, oh yes, yeah, it's Oh, it. okay, perfect, perfect. So you see now, you, now you see, you can see that little metal thing. Uh, that was the pin uh, up, it did pop up. Okay. It's so quiet, Kim didn't even hear it happen. You see that? It's so quiet. Did you hear that beep? Yeah. I mean, we're, I mean, we're done. Look at how fast that went by. This is the part that people get a little scared about, okay? And I understand it. This is when you have to release the pressure. However, really not that scary at all. You'll become a pro in no time. You see that little nozzle there in the back? What I want you to do is don't put your finger, just avoid the, the, little, the little very top of the knob, okay? That's where there's a little notch on the side. Okay. Take your finger and stay to the side of it, and then just flick it from the, the ceiling position to the venting position. Okay. You'll be fine. There you go. Yay! You, you did it! It's Yay! simple as that. Turn it. And pull it out, and there's going to be steam's going to rush it. Perfect. Now, you can actually rest your lid on in the pot itself. You see the little, little notch there? You can slide that into. Look at that. Throw everything up. Get that. Get really underneath yeah. the pasta. So does it feel like it's done? Yeah. No, that's beautiful pasta. Yeah, it's al dente. It's not mush at all. It's perfect. And that is going to be four cups, a bunch of a nice. She shredded that all by herself, Chad. Right. And then just stir everything around in the pot, and then keep stirring it until it gets completely melted into the pasta. If you want to to bring out some extra flavor, you can add in. I suggest a teaspoon of a Dijon mustard, or you can use the yellow mustard. If you hate mustard, by the way, you're not gonna really taste it. It brings out more of the flavor in the cheese, in my opinion. And I love adding like a tablespoon of hot sauce. That's also optional. It's not gonna be spicy. It's not that much you're adding. If you want it spicy, you can add more, but you don't have to add the mustard or the hot sauce, your choice. You don't want to have be overpowered with a mustard flavor, but there you go, that's excellent. Look at that, Kim. Look at how nice that's, that's looking. Look, you just made mac and cheese in your Instant Pot. You didn't drain anything. And it's full of ooey gooey, delicious cheesiness. Okay, so she's trying it out now. You need that all by yourself. I feel really accomplished. Oh, look at I love how cheesy. What do you think? 
This is super dangerous. <laughs> oh, good. Well, dangerous is good. That's really good. I like dangerous when it comes down to uh, how something tastes. It's a great way to describe a food. I mean, I hope it's a good thing. No, I really like the mustard is actually a really nice. It's a nice touch, right? I've never tried that before in mac and cheese. <laughs> good. You tried something new today. And by adding butt mustard to your uh, mac and cheese and by making mac and cheese in an instant pot. I'm just going to probably be eating this out of the pot for the rest of the that's afternoon. What I, that's what I do. No judging. That's what I do. Okay. <laughs> Well, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank Enjoy you. it. Pache.